Hey everyone, this is Lois Banks coming to you from Lois Banks Ministry. Um, I just wanted to come and say thank you for everyone who uh, continues to pray for me on this special uh, HEDIS project that I'm working with um, for my employer. Um, it's called the HEDIS um, Medical Record Review. It's a medical record audit. And my team and I, we review tens of thousands of medical records um, every year. We've had a lot of challenges um, that uh, came before us this heat of season and where we, everybody had to make a lot of adjustments. And I don't, even though um, I'm faced with challenges, I don't like to do sloppy work. I don't like to, I only like to do quality work. And so I, you know, made sure that I put aside my weekend this weekend to review as many medical records as I um, could review um, so that I can be on task for my go. So, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I will uh, be reviewing um, additional medical records and then I will be right where I need to, need to be, but I had to review over the weekend. So, uh, had I had to or it was just going to be a hot mess so um um got smoothed everything out worked it all out because I'm the type of person I don't care what the challenge is I'm going to always go to God ask him for a plan and then show me how to uh succeed and move forward and of course you know I looked at all the medical records that I had to review um that were assigned to me um, I divided in, you know, how many days I need to get those medical records reviewed and um, just went in there and took care of business. So it's sort of like seek and find that I do on my job. Um, I have to know the rules every year for um, the medical record review and different health care measures. And then I go inside of a, a PDF medical record file and I review, you know, date of birth, dates of services, making sure all that adds up. And then I have to go inside and red box the pertinent information for the auditors to review based on the measure that um, I'm reviewing. And it's almost like seek and find. And I played seek and find as a young ch child for years. I love those seek and finds. And so... I open up the medical record, I open up the PDF, I know exactly what I need to look for, and I go and red box it on on the computer because there are different, like a, a oval, a square, a rectangle. You can click on it and then go and highlight the information you want the auditors to, to take a look at. And that's what I do. I review medical records for a living. Yes, I do. And so, um, again, thank you for everyone who kept me in prayer because I, we needed prayer. The only way we were going to get through this was prayer and hard work. And I like to calculate uh, my work. So I'll see what I have to do and then calculate the days and how many medical records I need to review to get to my end goal and uh, go from there. And like I said, I don't like to do sloppy stuff. I don't like to just throw stuff, you know, into my data entry. I wanna make sure that what I am reviewing and highlighting is accurate. And um, I just I just like to do my best job whenever I'm working on anything. So God uh, was faithful and I'm so glad because this is the only weekend I have to really work to play catch up. And I'm very excited about that. So like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I can just work my regular, you know, work days and, um, and you know, just be caught up. So I'm excited because there were a lot of switches and turns, you know. Um, first, I was assigned so many records to review. And then there was a some uh, uh, area where the company was in trouble and they were like, Lois, we're going to take you off of this over here and put you over here so you can help get us caught up. And so I had to go on the system and grab 319 medical records to review, 
put them in um, my H drive and just start reviewing those medical records one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. And, and here we are today. So I'm very excited. And that was just from that switch. I've already uh, reviewed other medical records uh, prior to um, the change. So, whoo, it was a lot. But um, I made sure since I added my weekends to help the company succeed, I kind of, you know, tailored my weekends the way that I wanted it to go. And as you can tell, I made sure I got out and I uh, exercised. I took you, I took my viewers along with my uh, workout exercise as I was talking about the Lord. Some of you saw the videos and saw me interacting with some of my neighbors. And um, yeah, um, I made sure that I took care of me and my health. And, um, you know, I didn't, you know, let up on what I usually do or want to do. Uh, during the weekends and then after I took care of me first and everything I need to do I caught up on some sleep I didn't get up early to work um, I think it was Saturday I set the computer and worked from 1 p.m. to about 9 or 10 ish and then today Sunday I worked from I think it was 2 55 no 2 o'clock to about uh to nine o'clock so i'm done i'm so glad i put in um that time and also uh maintain you know my my lifestyle and to do the things i needed to do for myself so um but i thank you for your prayers i do I, prayers are needed we needed prayer and one day i'll get into all of the challenges oh my goodness that my team has experienced this year has been something that we've never experienced before. Um, but, you know, I don't know what it is to give up on anything. I, I'm not a quitter. Um, I won't give up. You know, I'll always go to God and I say, God, you know what's going on here help our team succeed help us to win show me what i need to do to do my part and you know god has been faithful he has pointed things out to the whole team he's helped us work together as a team to get the project done and see um, i'm used to working with people on my team who are winners when we work on projects so last year my team alone helped to bring in $54 million. Yes, $54 million on this project, um, on this HEDIS project, because federal dollars are attached to quality care, giving to um, the United States citizens. So I just, again, want to tell everybody, thank you. I appreciate your prayers. I already know that I cannot be successful without prayers. The prayers are needed. And when I, I'm, there's no shame in my, what I'm doing. If I need some, I'm going to come to you and I am going to ask you to pray for something specific, you know, and I don't, I don't care. I, that's, y'all should know me by now. You know, I'm just a very down to earth, straightforward, you know, I'm a straight shooter, and we don't have time to be walking in no pride. You know, if there's something that I need the saints to pray for, I'm going to come to you and I'm going to ask you for prayer. So uh, thank you so much for covering me in prayer and my family in prayer, and my ministry in prayer. Um, just know that I'm doing the same thing for you. Everybody that's connected to my ministry, I am praying for you. I'm asking God to bless you. I'm asking God to send miracles to you. Um, I'm asking God to help you to win in every area of your life because God will give you a plan uh, to win. So this is Lois Banks, come to you from Lois Banks Ministry. Uh, 
I, you know, just start going back outside, jogging outside, you know, because the weather's breaking a little bit and, you know, starting to get a little warmer. Um, I'm a little sore, not too sore, but just a little sore, but it's a good sore, you know. Um, it's a good sore and it feels so good to work my body out. I love to work my body out. And um, and I, I think I shared this before um, on a previous video that I remember when I went through nursing school many, many years ago um, and just I was just feeling exhausted. A lot of nursing students were feeling um, exhausted. Um, I started out with like 200 nursing students uh, in the class and, you know, it dwindled down to um, about 100 because you have to maintain um, a 80 80 percent or higher in nursing school this at least the school the nursing school that i attended or you could not stay in stay in the uh, nursing program and i have before i even went to the nursing program i had to go through a psychological test with psychologists they wanted to make sure i was sane and wasn't wrong with me mentally I had to go to the school's doctors and get a complete physical blood work and everything, make sure I was healthy. Um, I uh, I had to test. I had to test, pass all my tests, you know, reading comprehension, algebra, and, um, you know, uh, all types of math problems and um, science, you know. Um, I had to test before I even got into my nursing program. So there were a lot of things that I had to do before I even became a nurse. Um, so, and then I had to, to stay in nursing school, I had to maintain 80% uh, or higher. I mean, I was not playing. I was in, I was living, eating, breathing my books, okay? So I, I thank God for uh, sending me on this path and for putting me in the position that he placed me in and even telling me when to go back to school and pursue my, my uh, bachelor's and my master's. And, you know, God has just been so faithful. He's just been a faithful father and he just guides my uh, path. And, you know, when you listen to God, and you just follow his path, I mean, it's just going to be a, a, a great thing. I actually use my nursing career to build um, the companies, the two companies that God has uh, blessed me uh, with. Um, I, I'm a very uh, independent woman. I don't like leaning on people. I don't like begging people for money. So, you know, I get my hips up every day and I go to work and I make money for a living. I live off of my own money that I work with my uh, nursing career. And um, I plant seed into my business through my, my nursing. And I grow my ministry and my company through, you know, my career um, as a nurse. I ask God to help me to minister to the world but not be a beggar and not come off like the things that we you know currently see um uh in the earth you know i don't want to be that type of ministry i want to be the type of ministry where i show people the importance of hard work and getting up and working for real you know what i'm saying uh i love god i do but there's just really no work involved in studying the Bible. I mean, I'll have my concordance out. I'll have, you know, the Hebrew information out. I'll have Hebrew text out. I'll have all kinds of, you know, stuff studying. That is not work. I'm like, let's just get for real, you know. That's just studying uh, God's word and letting God talk back to you. That's not like work, work. That's just studying God's word. And then when I pray for people and God gives people miracles. That's not work for me either. I'm just standing there in faith, uh, trusting God to come out of me to be a, a blessing and give miracles to people. God does all the work. You see what I'm saying? But when I go to uh, work as a nurse analyst, that is work. 
you know, and it's, it's mental work. I think for a living, I make money off my brain and, um, that's how I, you know, raised my children, took care of my children, fed them, clothed them, you know what I'm saying? Went on vacations, you know, everything that I do is from up here, is from thinking. Um, I have to think for a living. That's how I make my money. Um, and then, you know, the gifts and stuff that God gives to me to be a, heal a blessing to the world, you know, I don't charge for that. You know, God tells people to bless me whenever he feels like he wants them to, to bless me. But my ministry thrives on me trusting God and not depending on people. I, I don't ever want to have to depend on anybody for the survival um, of the ministry that God has placed inside of me because I need to be able to uh, rebuke people when I need to rebuke them. I need to, out of love, to help them not destroy their life or be separated from God for eternity. Um, I need to be honest with people. I need to be real with people. And I can't do that if I'm all tangled up and tied up into I can't hurt nobody's feelings. I can't tell nobody the truth. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't be who God called me to be with all them games and them strings. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and you know, a lot of times, even when you tell people the truth and love and you come up from a genuine place, people still get their feelings hurt, you know, and they get upset because a lot of people are not used to hearing the truth. But God talks to me like that. He tells me the truth. He talks to me with truth. And I communicate back the same way uh, to the world because it's the truth that will make you free. It's the truth that brings deliverance. It's the truth that will heal your body. It's the truth. You understand what I'm saying? So, uh, again, I, I just want to come back and say thank you thank you for praying for me i accomplished my goal this weekend and i was successful in reviewing um a lot of records um over this weekend i i, I thank everybody for your prayers I want everybody to have a blessed holy week you know this is holy week okay you know from what april the 10th to the 16th all week long it's going to be holy week and uh i praise uh the father god for sending uh the lord jesus thank you thank you father for sending jesus to the earth to die for me and everybody in the world and um i just praise god and i bless him i can't live without him and i thank him and I thank the Father God for what he did um, with uh, bringing the children of Israel um, out of Egypt and for creating the world. Father, I didn't forget. Father, I did not forget what you did. And I praise you for it. And I, and I glorify your name every year about what you did. And um, thank you, Jesus, for willingly leaving your Father's side for just leaving um, heaven and the love of God and everything that God created and, and, and just coming to the earth to deal with all this craziness on this earth and to teach us the way and then to willingly die on the cross um, and then trusting your father's power to raise you from the dead and, um, and then, and then before you ra was raised from the dead, you actually suffered in hell in our place as if you were a sinner, but you, you didn't sin. You took the punishment for, um, for us. And Jesus, I just thank you for everything. Father, I thank you for everything. Holy Ghost, holy, precious Holy Ghost. Thank you. Thank you for uh, being with Jesus. Thank you for being in my life. Thank you for being with me every day. You know, saints, we are so blessed. We are blessed. We are so blessed to have Jesus in our heart, to have the precious Holy Ghost inside of us, which is the power of God, and to be one with our Father in heaven. And we are blessed. So this is Lois Banks coming to you from the Lois Banks Ministry. Have a blessed, 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 prosperous 
um, healthy, uh, holy week. God bless, God bless the world.